Hey there, buddy. Hello, and welcome to Relaxed Mail. All right, today, uh, new day. Outside is is wet and dreary and not any fun, so I figured I'd go ahead and just uh, needed to get this second video. Wanted to get this second video uh, made um, because I made it yesterday, and it came out looking like this. Talked about what a core value is. So now we're actually going to go in a little deeper and talk about how do you actually create your So how do you find well, what your core values are? Um, that's what we're going to talk about this week on uh, on Relax. Yeah, ground fault hums. Uh, they're they're a pain in the butt when you, you try to use a external power supply. Never even thought of uh, looking at that or seeing that that would have been an issue. And uh, come to find out, it was an 80 year old, 90 year old house. Uh, so yeah, it's going to happen. So. <laughs> All right, so we're talking core values today and how you can actually make your core values. So we're going to start now. Core values, how do you find what you believe in? What do you stand for? What are your core values or guiding principles? Uh, guiding principles uh, is a word used by uh, Stephen Covey in Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Great book. I highly recommend you read it. If uh, you haven't, uh, if you have, then you kind of know why guiding principles are good. Uh, they help you make uh, really concrete and uh, steadfast decisions if you uh, are wondering about uh, if you're wondering why core values are important to you I would definitely go back to last week's video because it actually explains what core values are why they're important how do you make or come up with your core values well you've always had a set of core values you just probably have never actually put words to your beliefs before and setting up what your core values are really helps do that if you uh, a lot of times you're known as someone who doesn't uh, who doesn't lie or you may be known as someone who's got a great work ethic uh, you may be known as uh, as someone who has just who is dedicated or or loyal or any anything like along those lines uh, you they may say that you're loyal to a fault those are core values those are values that you hold dear you just have not ever decided hey yeah that's the word loyalty or maybe dedication might be a better fitting word how do you find what your core values are there are several different ways you can go online they've got workbooks that uh, and uh, work pages and, and uh, worksheets that help help you actually um, find out what your core values are and these help out a lot a lot of times there's also you can find word sheets of just uh, sheets just full of words and these words are actually uh, help you to you can go through there and go here's a uh, dedicated yeah I'm kind of pretty dedicated I like that word you find all the words that you kind of you think match you and uh, and describe you and you lay all those out so you can use that in correlation with these other ways because the biggest way and the best way I have found to make to write out core values is to uh, to make a list just sit down and just start doing a brain dump of, and write on all the descriptive words of you that you can think of when you have all the words and if you have problems thinking of the words then go to those word lists because you'll come up with you'll come across descriptive words that you would have never even thought of you know uh, and so if you uh, if you use those types of words and you use those word lists in conjunction with everything else you can come up with a good long list of words that best describe you then what you're able to do is you can uh, sit down and just focus in on each word and decide which words are the best describe you 
and which ones do you fully agree with? And that's the key. You want to make sure you agree with those uh, with those words. If you're trying to make yourself feel good that uh, you're loyal, but uh, you've cheated on your wife several times, you can use that word if you're going to actually dedicate yourself. If you want to make yourself loyal and become, and you decide, never mind, I am going to be a loyal person, then you're going to want to, those words that you choose help you out and uh, will give you a, a guiding uh, a guidepost or guiding principle to, um, to be able to make that change. Now, if you're doing it just because, well, it sounds like it, I'm going to be loyal. If you use it just as a word, that's all it's ever going to be. It's not going to be a value. So you want to make sure that you choose the words that best describe you and best ring true to your soul. Uh, would be a good way, a good indicator. If it's uh, you come across hardworking and it's like, yeah, I am hardworking, then you pretty much know that's a good one. You know, or if you're like, eh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm hardworking. You're not gonna. Ha it's not ringing with you. You're not going to uh, identify with that core value as much. And so it's not one that you want to have in your list. So whittle all that big old monstrous list of words that you've come, you've made up and whittle them down to about five. And that's a good number of uh, core values to start with. After words you can add or you can, uh, to it or you can cha even change words if you so choose. Um, don't recommend going opposites. <laughs> that's too big of a change and you really throw the people who look at you for those core values. And yeah, you can change your uh, core value, but to have um, to do that though you're you're taking the 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 power of that core value and what it means and kind of throwing it out the door so I don't ever recommend you just change core values on every once a month because well people are going to get tired of the changes and they're going to think of you as just being a fake so when you choose the core values really side these are the ones that really, that's why I want you to choose just five because it's easier to choose the five that just really ring true and you can really focus and corral your decision making around these five main, uh, main guiding uh, principles. Another way that you can find words that describe your core values is ask a friend. Ask if you've got a mastermind group. Uh, any of these people who have known you for a little while or even a long while ask them say just go up to them go hey give me five words that uh, best describe me. uh incorporate like i say incorporate the masterminds if there's anybody who's dedicated in making sure that you have the best um dedicated and committed to making sure that you are the best you that you could possibly be that sounds weird but that's the best way i can describe it your mastermind group will do that. They will sit down and they will, they will be able to say, I know that you are, um, you know, you've shown to be loyal. You've shown to be tenacious. You've always, uh, you've always had a go getter attitude. Uh, you're, you know, they'll tell you what words best describe you and you can add those to your list or you can just choose from those because those are people who do know you, uh, warts and all. So, and if you've got a, a mastermind group or friends worth their salt, they're going to tell you, they, no, you, I know you hardworking, really, you really, you think hardworking, you know, dude, I've seen you skate how to work more times than not. Um, you might be, uh, yeah, you might come up with a better word that uh, better describes you like, uh, I, I know you to be, um, so, uh, I want to th say, uh, uh, dreamer, you know, something like that. But so anyhow, you can, there are, these are a couple of really good ways that you can actually start building your core value list. And like I said, get, when you find them, you get those set down and you just take the time, just maybe as you, if you're driving for your, uh, for your work, or if you're commuting to, uh, to your office, um, as you drive, just decide, all right, tenacious. Am I tenacious? And you can decide and call, and mull over those words. Spend an hour or two, or, or however long you feel you need to add, to think about it, and think about each one of those words, and decide this one here really fits. If you find if you choose one, and then later on you're like eh, it doesn't really work, you can 
and you find one that just seems to ring just a little truer, then you can always change those words out. Um, like I said, though, if you're going to go off and you're going to use a word and then later on you're changing the word, you're going to change one of your core values to this and then change another one to that, or you're changing core values just to make you feel good, those, core, those aren't core values. Those are just words. So there you go. A couple of ways that you can help build a list of core values that would work for you. Down below, I went ahead and I gave a couple of links to a couple, uh, few uh sites that will actually help you find core values. I'm also working on a, uh, on a, a list that will, a uh, worksheet that will help you come up with your core values also. And I'll add that to uh, the descriptor, uh, description um, for this video uh, a bit later on. So anyhow, thank you again for watching. Uh, if you uh, like this, click the subscribe button down below here. And uh, I thank you again you know, uh, for, for the time that you've taken to, to watch this video. This is a rather short one. As you know, there are times I can get really long-winded. So uh, thank you again. You have a great and wonderful, blessed day, and we will catch you next week. Bye.